The wonderful quality of the project V on Shenton is that it is standing on Shenton Way, a business district in Singapore with a height of 240 meters. Uh, we have views to the Marina Bay, to many parts of the surroundings of the city. Uh, especially the, the residents are, are higher and the idea is that that you would have within the penthouse but also in the lower apartments you have always fantastic views. What's quite nice is that uh, you have uh, in, the, in the, uh, the, the, the size of the project with, with the towers and the height um, we have this opening, this uh, view corridor introduced so that you do get uh, different qualities of yeah, the plint, you could say, of the project, uh, the, the office uh, part of the project and then the residential uh, areas here in the vertical towers. So if you talk about the entrance towards the project Shinton Way, if you have then the infrastructure of it and the movement and the way how the line of the road is picked up by the line of the facade and the texture of the facade, then the sculptural quality of the facade is holded up by this line and, and frames it. So this line will be to be seen uh, during the day. That will be lit up in the night also. So in the night we will try to see if that movement, what we find in the surroundings and the movement of the surroundings, we find it up also back then in the line of the way how this light comes back into the development of an animated line within the facade. Because we have so many apartments and so many nice uh, type of apartments, um, the quality is that we have with this uh, introduced some public areas, so, so we have these uh, fantastic sky gardens, so green zones within the top and the middle part of the building and also on the low part, whereby we could introduce areas where the residents could share the view of the city, the green, the leisure quality of the location. The pattern of the facade uh, related to how in one line the project is having a coherent quality. You have different types of textures going to the side and the front and the lower part of the building. A public uh, entrance zone, the lower part. Then we have the parking area. Then you have the offices and the residential area and the sky garden. That, that all these different functions do have different textures. And sometimes they might relate to a uh, glass facade uh, moving in and outwards. But on the side there is always a lighting element coming up with a different color so that the texture would be even more emphasized. And on the residential side we have these fantastic more open uh, um, volumetric balconies whereby you create quite deep texture in the total volume of the building. So, um, so then there are altogether maybe four to five different textures in this whole uh, uh, project uh, to be found. What is nice when you're entering the building, then there is this uh, wayfinding element to be found in the ceiling of uh, the project, whereby the lines of the ceiling, like the line in the facade, picks up a way of how you can find where the elevator and the counter within the building are. And it's very inviting, especially with the higher V columns we uh, have at the entrance there, uh, the way how we combine it with a uh, public zone and a walk area on the front of the lobby area, what is protected, is all connected to the entrance towards the interior of the building. There are not only different functions to be found in this project, but it's also having, of course, an incredible presence within the whole organization of the city. Uh, so it is a very public project in a way. We see it more as a sculptural uh, object apart from that, of course, that there are programs and functions behind it. The texture refers more to um, yeah, a, a, a way of how we can dress the future uh, within buildings than only purely to the function of the building alone.